Hey there, Chef Shelley here. And if we're just meeting for the first time, I am a personal chef and I help passionate home cooks just like you start their own personal chef business. So that way you don't have to get confused and overwhelmed by trying to look up a bunch of crap on the internet and reading a bunch of random information that you're Googling and you'll know exactly what to do first and next. So today I'm talking about step number two in the four step framework to starting your own personal chef business. So if you missed part one, be sure to go back and watch it because it'll really set you up for the rest of the steps. So a quick review, if you're not familiar with personal chefing, we can do a lot of different services from boutique style catering to online or in-person cooking classes, and there's a million more. But the number one thing that we do is weekly meal services. This is having those regularly scheduled clients who pay us to make them a week's worth of dinners. So this is actually the best service you can do as a personal chef because it's regularly scheduled work. It's during the week and during the day. Unlike catering, which is usually nights and weekends and holidays, and you never know when it's going to come. So if this sounds appealing to you to have these regularly scheduled clients who pay you to cook for them and you don't have to sacrifice all your family time with a ton of catering work, then you'll love this video series because this is exactly what we're talking about. So in step one, we covered planning including making decisions about your business like what you want to cook, who would be the best clients for you, and how to charge, what to price your services at. Now we're on step number two, which is all about the prep work. This is about getting prepared to be a confident, organized cook so that you can be a professional and not just like some half-assed amateur, to be honest. So this is something that stops a lot of people before they even get started. And what happens is they worry that they're not good enough, that they didn't go to culinary school, that they can't be a real chef, or that even nobody is ever going to pay them to cook. So if you have any of these fears, you are not alone. And the way to get over these fears is you need to cook, cook, and cook some more. This is the most important way that you can get that confidence because your confidence is gonna come from competence and that competence just comes from practice. Nothing is going to make you as confident and skilled as cooking regularly. And I don't mean like just making dinner. I know you cook all day every day, but planned cooking. You need to plan out the recipes, plan out your shopping, and plan your cooking like a professional. You know, cook food for yourself and your family like you would if you were cooking for a paying client. And this is exactly what the free guide, How to Cook a Weekly Meal Service, will help you do. There's a link right by this video where you can go download your free guide and it will walk you through step by step so you can do the practice to get that confidence you need to be successful. This is also a great way to master recipes and grow your library. You'll need to have at least, at least a couple dozen recipes, solid favorite recipes that you've totally mastered so that you can present choices to clients. And of course, the more organized that you have them, then the more professional you will be. It's not good to just have them shoved in a file with gravy spilled all over them. So if you're worried that you don't have the confidence you need, you will get it by going through this process of preparing and doing regular practice. And then you'll discover how easy it is when you become competent at it and that you're totally capable of doing this for a paying client. Once you have the confidence, then we can move on to step three, which is all about being professional and running this as a business, getting everything in place so that you can be a professional with a spectacular personal chef business. So again, click on the link to download your free guide, how to prepare a weekly meal service. This is exactly what professional personal chefs do 
every cook day for paying clients. Whether it's a client that you are cooking for every Monday on a weekly basis, or maybe it's a client that you're just cooking a couple times a month for. It's all the same process of choosing the recipes, planning out your lists and your shopping, scheduling your cooking, and running through your system and your process for doing it. Package it up, put it in the fridge, and you'll be set for the week, and you'll see how easy this is. And again, this is exactly what hungry clients who are out there want to pay you to do for them. So again, check out that free guide and then join me next time when we're going to be getting into step three, and that's how to professionally set up your business for success. Cheers.